Hi there, this is Dr. Embody with project number nine. Uh, this should look familiar in that the last few projects we've done have had a certain pattern. And the pattern is you open a file, you read the file, and put the information into a data structure, and then you do something with the file. And so in some sense, this one is very much like the others. Read a file, I mean, open a file, read a file, and then do something with this data structure that you've created. Now in this project we're actually requiring you that you have a data structure that's a dictionary. Okay, uh, Those who use dictionaries for the last project will be uh, a little more comfortable with that. And then the other thing we have here is we're going to use sets in, in addition to that. So we're going to have our dictionaries where the key is a word and the value is the set of lines where that word appears. So like if the, uh, if the word is on lines one, three, and occurs in lines one, three, and seven, then our dictionary at that word will have a set with the numbers one, three, and seven. And, oh, and by the way, we start our line numbers on one this time, not like zero, not on zero. So the first line will be line number one. You want to watch out for that. Sets are very nice in in this case because if we have multiple occurrences of a word on the line, so we came across the word two, and then we came across it on the same line. I, if I just add add words to the set, then the fact that it happens multiple times uh, doesn't matter. And, and sets work nicely with that. Also, when it comes time to process it, we'll use one of the set operations, either intersection or union, you get to figure out which that is. And, and what we're doing is I have, if, uh, for each word, I have the set of lines that it appears on. And, and so if, if you're just asked about one word, it's real simple, just return that set. But how about, multiple words. Which lines do these two words happen on? Well, now we've got, you can look at each word and then perform an operation on those sets and find out which ones uh, they, they occur on. Just do that by hand, you know, and, and do that with pencil and paper. You know, you have some words and some lines, and now, you know, I've got these sets. How do I figure out which you know, so I have two words, I look at their sets, which lines are both words on? Is that intersection or union? And that, that's part of what, uh, what you have to do. So I, I want to make a, uh, a, a couple of things, uh, a couple of comments here. Okay, so, so what are we doing with this, this problem? Um, in the uh, description, we have... Um, a, you know, here, here's we've read in this file and we've put some line numbers here just uh, they don't exist in the file but they're just there to help us out and what we're going to do is open this file all right now to do that now we're going to read through this file one line at a time you got to split and do this kind of stuff and and you know you got to take care of punctuation and and things like um, the uh, you know, we can't, we got to get rid of everything that's not a character there, so the apostrophe's got to go. The little details like that you have to take care of. But that's not really the main idea. The main idea here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at the first word. Remember with dictionaries I can do this. I'll just put the first word in there and that will be D of try and uh, I will create a set, put a one in there. Why a one? Because I'm on line one. And then I go to the, go to the next one, and uh, I'll put not in there, and it will also have a set of one, and so on. I just keep going through here, uh, and, and notice here that uh, of occurs. I'll put I'll, I'll have uh, d of 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 uh, will be also be the set one. And as I, as I go through this, I will then find of again. And I'll also add that, uh, I'll say, oh, of is line one. I can add it in there again, and, and that's fine because, hey, I've got, uh, I've got a one in there. So I, I'll initial, when I come across a word for the first time, I 
create a set and put whatever line number is in there. And as I, I go through, I, I keep, you know, I, have, I, I come across look. Oh, okay, so look is on the, um, on the second line, and so I'll, that will get the set with the two in it, and so on. Now, the, the first time things get interesting is here, ah, I come across of again. And so I will add that to my set, and so of will now get um, uh, will now get a what, what am I? I'm on line three now. So when I'm done, I will now have a one and a three in there, representing the fact that I found of on line one and I found of on line three. Right? And then as I, I keep going through this, I will find also that I have uh, of on line five. And so that will get added onto my set. Um, let's get it, here we go. And so when, I, when I'm done with this, I will now have the set with lines one, uh, three, and five in it for of. And I think that's the only, the only ofs that I have there, right? Whereas something like not, uh, not appeared there, not appeared there, and so that will have, when I'm done, that will have the set one and two. And, and so one of the questions is, what that, that we might ask is, what lines do the words not and of occur on. And so I have to look at this set and this set, the set for not and the set for of, and clearly they both appear on line one, right? but what set operation, because I want to just take that set and that set, do an operation on it, and uh, the result of that operation should be a one. And, and it will be intersection or union, you get to figure that out. Uh, and, and now I, I've outlined the whole, um, the, the whole program. We're going to open the file. We're going to read the file into a dictionary of sets that I just showed here. And then we're going to do the uh, co-occurrence, which is I prompt for a couple of words, grab the, the dictionary entries for those which are sets, and then do uh, union or intersection on that to come up with the... Uh, to come up with the final um, uh, result. And then I ask you to, uh, if, if there's more than one in here, you're gonna sort it before you print it out. But that's th those are the three steps. Step one is open the file. Step two is read it, put it into the dictionary. And then the third step is to find the co-occurrence prompt, do your set operation, and now print those out. That's, that's what this project does. Um, Okay, the, um, um, so I, I specify some functions here. We have to, um, uh, we have to open the file, and then we have to uh, read the data, and then we do uh, find the co-occurrence of that. And that takes the dictionary and the string that has been input, and what, and I, I give you a, a function test. So, you know, reading the data, what do we come up with? Uh, I, I use the file primpernel.txt for that. Um, you know, it's a couple of lines from the uh, famous uh, story of the Scarlet Pimpernel. Um, and, and then uh, we, we do the uh, uh, concurrences, a few there to test that out. And then we have have a file, and you can see here, for example, on on this third one here, that uh, if we want to find the co-occurrence for uh, true knowledge and imagination, then we find that that happens on uh, line three. Uh, when we find the two words the and is, 
Oh, that they happen on lines three and seven. Or in the case of the, it happens on lines three, four, and seven. Notice that uh, we do have those lines sorted. Okay, that's the project. Um, good luck with it.